This was three years ago during pro-democracy protests in Bahrain. Nabil Rajab argues with policemen while Zainab al-Khawaja is at the back of the crowd texting or posting on social media. This week, they're both on trial. Al-Khawaja is charged with tearing a picture of Bahrain's king, which she did for a second time in a courtroom while on trial for doing it once before. Her father's in prison for his role in the 2011 protests. Rajab, the president of the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, faces up to three years in jail for two tweets he sent that the government says insulted public institutions. He only got out of jail in May, serving two years on a similar charge, and was rearrested just after returning from a speaking tour in Europe. It's not about that tweet. We believe it's a reprisal for his peaceful activities. Saeed Youssef Al-Muhafta is Rajab's deputy, and he spoke via Skype from exile in Germany. No human rights activist right now in Bahrain can speak out about what's happening in Bahrain. Amnesty International's Saeed Haddadi calls Rajab and al-Khawaja prisoners of conscience. From an international law perspective, there's no, there's no basis for the Bahraini authorities to detain Nabil or any other person who is critical of their policies, who is peacefully expressing their, or they, they, who are peacefully expressing their opinion. Bahrain's embassy in London did not respond to an interview request, but the government says it has implemented a series of reforms since 2011. Amnesty International says the impact has been very limited. We have a double-sided picture, one with some positive, though limited, legal and institutional reform, but at the level of the openness of the authorities and their acceptance of criticism is at a very low uh, position at the moment. Activist Saeed Youssef al muhafta says in practical terms the situation is worse than ever. What's happening in the, in the ground is no reform at all. The number of people being arrested is more, the number of people killed is being more. There is no uh, freedom at all, there is no reform at all. Efforts to pressure the Bahraini government are complicated by its close relations with Western countries, its participation in the anti-Islamic state coalition, and its role as host of a U.S. military base. Still, the United States has criticized the prosecution of Rajab and called for fair treatment of al-Khawaja. Al-Pesin, VOA News, London.